It's a sunny afternoon. Bada, Curly, and Jess are playing in the park. But they are not alone. Crunch, crunch. Let's go this way. Okay. Do those bushes just talk? Huh? I heard something too. What was that? Let's go see. Follow me. What could it be? Is it a bear? Is it a squirrel? A deer? It's two little rabbits. Oh, I'm Flopsy. I'm Mopsy. Uh oh, they can't find their parents. They're lost. Poor bunnies. We have to help them. Let's look for your parents, Flopsy and Mopsy. I'll look this way. I'll look that way. We'll search all around the park. It's getting late. You can stay with us tonight. We'll look for your parents again tomorrow. They all walk to Bada's home together. Munch, munch, hop, hop. Flush, flush, splash, splash. You must be hungry, Flopsy and Mopsy. I made some food for you. <laughs> Let's play. I can teach you a fun dance. Hop with me to the beat. <laughs> All done. Check this out, Flopsy and Mopsy. I built this special body just for you. Wow, wow. Here is a toy for your bubble bath. Whee! It's nighttime. Flopsy and Mopsy had a long day. <sighs> you must be sleepy. It's time for a bedtime story. Yippee! Good night, cute little bunnies. The next day, they returned to the park. But once again, they were not alone. Crunch, crunch. What is behind those bushes this time? It's two big rabbits. Flopsy and Mopsy's parents. Thanks for taking care of our kids. Say goodbye to your friends, Flopsy and Mopsy. Bye-bye. Bye, Flopsy and Mopsy. <sighs> I'm going to miss Flopsy and Mopsy. It's OK, Jess. I'm sure we'll meet again. Jess was sad to see the rabbits go. But they all had a feeling that Bada was right.